little known secret, don't tell anybody else, I don't know how to swim. This bucket list item is a bit of a challenge for me. One of the big things on all of our bucket lists in this family was to swim with the dolphins. If you've never heard of Discovery Cove, you are truly missing out. It is definitely one of Florida's best kept secrets in my opinion. Discovery Cove is an all-inclusive resort. And by all-inclusive, I do mean everything is included, unless you wanna add some extra upgrades or extra excursions to your trip. Let's start out with all the activities that are included at Discovery Cove with the price of your normal admission ticket. The first one, which was definitely a family favorite for us, was the Windaway River. This river is in essence, a lazy river. It's covered in like a rainforest vibe. You've got foliage everywhere, you've got wild birds along the way. You're actually going to float through caves, waterfalls. It will provide you with a pool noodle if you need one. Definitely a life jacket if you're me or anyone smaller. We went through the Windaway River. We were able to relax. The water was clear. There are no fish in the water here, which might be important to note as well. As you're going through the Windaway River, you're gonna stumble upon something called Explorer's Aviary. You can hop right off of the river into Explorer's Aviary. As you walk through the doors, you can grab a cup of bird food, like cut up fruits and, and seeds and what have you. And inside of this aviary, these are free roaming birds. None of them are caged, as long as you don't have a fear of birds. You definitely want to go in here. All of us, including the kids, were actually able to get birds to perch on our hands and eat from our dishes. It was awesome. I wish I could tell you the names of all these exotic birds. You'll definitely need to check it out online. Definitely drop in there during your river trip. As soon as you're done with the aviary, you're going to actually jump back into the river. When you get to the end of the river, you stop at this really nice Serenity Bay. This is a shallow area of the water. The water's very clear, it's clean, and it's really an area for you to either just sit on the beach and relax, or watch your little ones play in the water. It is definitely a place that we spend a good amount of our time. And I noticed a lot of other families with smaller children that just wanted to play in the water almost like a pool. They would go in there and then the parents would be able to sit there on the beach and watch them. After that, we went over to the Grand Reef. The Grand Reef is a really cool area. It is all salt water. You can snorkel there. So once again, because this is all inclusive, they're gonna give you your snorkel gear. And trust me, the snorkel is only one time use, so if you're worried about sanitation issues or anything like that, you don't need to be concerned. The saltwater reefs are awesome because there are literally manta rays and tropical fish all around you. Underneath you, to the side, when you snorkel, you can actually touch them. Now I want to say be respectful of them, of course, don't chase them. I was able to touch a ray for the first time and it was pretty awesome. Definitely one of the kids' favorite areas. What was really awesome about it is that if you go down towards the bottom, you actually will see the sharks on the other side of the glass. They can't get to you, so there's no reason to be fearful. You can actually see them up close, eye to eye, which was really cool. Towards the end of the day, you're starting to get tired. You need that snack. There's a snack shack where you can go grab soft pretzel, chips, a drink. Once again, all inclusive, so you're not paying anything out of pocket for it, outside of what you already paid for your admission. And you're gonna go into the Freshwater Oasis. The Freshwater Oasis has these chairs that are underwater, and you can sit in there with your snack, relax, hang out with your party. As soon as you're done, Done, you go further out into the oasis and when you do that you'll stumble upon the Asian clawed otters They are the most charming and darling little otters. I've ever seen. They're very very sweet. No, they're on the other side of glass Okay, so you can't touch them. They will come right up to the glass and intera interact with you And it was it was so fun I, to be honest It's one of those moments where you wish you could touch them But you know, it's probably not safe after you go ahead and visit with the otters You're gonna continue on and in the middle of the oasis is a little island. They call marmoset island Marmoset island has the tiniest little marmosets if you've never seen one, you definitely need to stop in here. The best time to see them, though, is during one of their enrichment sessions. Because they have a trainer out there that will tell you about their habitats, their lifestyles in the wild, and you can actually watch them interact with people and take treats. It was amazing. I wish we stayed longer, to be quite honest. Now, once you've completed everything there that's included in your excursion, something else that you're going to be concerned with with All Inclusive is food, drinks, all those things that as parents we are constantly having to pack bags for. We always have to worry about allergies, your child being picky. Not really a big deal at Discovery Co. For one, because it's all inclusive, you not only get breakfast, but lunch. It's unlimited, so you can go back up there as many times as you want. It's not a big deal at all. They have no limits at all. So they also have snack shacks, like I had mentioned prior. Pretzels, chips, cookies, soda, water, anything you want as far as that goes. They have great children's options, and they also have uh, gluten-free options, allergy-safe options. You name it, they have it, and they're really good at working with you. With it being all inclusive, the only thing you need to bring is yourself and your swimsuit. Maybe a pair of sunglasses. Now, your life jacket. Jackets, wetsuits, snorkel gear, all of that completely included. And in fact, the great thing about Discovery Cove is even their lockers are actually included so you can go ahead and lock up all your valuables as well. Discovery Cove was awesome. We had such a great time and there's so much included. We would go just for Discovery Cove. 
and all the inclusives. However, there's certain things that we would definitely recommend. And the dolphin swim is one we recommend to everybody. I had so much fun with the dolphin swim. Such an amazing experience. You get to hang on that dolphin and it's like riding a little mini submarine, cruises right through the water with you. You get to give the dolphin a little kiss or a hug. It depends on the uh, situation with the protocols and everything. Such a great experience. We got to take pictures with the dolphin. Those are extra, unfortunately. Probably worth it. And the nice thing was we only had to buy one package. So even though it's a little bit pricey, we have access for all nine of us just on that one package. We have all the photos right online. If you've swam with dolphins before, that's probably your only reason not to sign up for the dolphin swim. If you're gonna sign up for these excursions, especially the dolphin swim, you need to be there early, early, because the earlier you're there, the earlier you're signing up, the better chance you're gonna get of having a good dolphin swim spot, and the earlier dolphin swim's gonna be. The later in the day, the more they can get bumped, and the more the dolphins can start acting goofy and maybe not want to cooperate. So the earlier dolphin swim, in my opinion, the better. Also, that means that if you have a really early dolphin swim, you gotta head straight to the wetsuits and get those ready, instead of going to the breakfast first, which normally we would recommend going right to the breakfast first, get that breakfast in you, then go take care of the wetsuits and all that. But if you have an early dolphin swim, the wetsuits are super busy, so you gotta get over there first. Something for my next trip to Discovery Cove, for sure, is the shark swim. The shark swim looks really cool. I'd be a little afraid to go swim with big sharks in the ocean. Sharks like the black tip reef sharks, the nurse sharks, they also have zebra sharks, bonnethead sharks. They're all uh, not huge sharks, but they're still pretty big sharks. So swimming with those is a really cool extra that you can do. That being said, you don't get to get in the shark tank, but if you're in the reef, you can get right up next, next to the sharks in this plexiglass part, and you can kind of get underwater with it. And, and basically it's like you're swimming with them, but you do still have a big wall of plexiglass in the way. So the other place you get to see the sharks really well is when you're doing the sea adventure. If you've ever wanted to just walk underwater right on the ocean floor, that's what the sea adventure is. They put this like space looking helmet on you that feeds you oxygen and you just walk around on the ocean floor. So you get to walk right up to a big plexiglass wall as well with the sharks behind. You're not swimming with the sharks, but you get to walk around on the reef. You can see all these fish and stuff. It's definitely a cool looking experience. Something I would definitely consider. Now, if you want to impress your kids or even in my situation where I kind of wanted to do it, is you can become trainer for a day. Now this would be most kids, you get extra time with a dolphin, you do have to have already booked dolphin time. So it has to have already been booked dolphin time, and then you get the second time with a dolphin and the trainer for a day. Extra time with a dolphin, and then behind the time with different animals, feeding with different animals, and just seeing how all of this works. Sounds like a really cool time. This is gonna change depending on what's going on with the animals each day. The flamingo, or the flamingo mingle. Flamingo Mingle. I can't even say that. Flamingo. This is really a neat looking thing. We've done this before, so we didn't sign up for it. But essentially you start out with the, with the flamingos and you get to feed them all. So you're there one-on-one -on -one feeding the flamingos and then you become part of their flock and you get to walk around the park as a big mob with the flamingos. We actually got to run into the flamingo, so we didn't have to pay for it and we still got to spend time because they were essentially blocking the road. All these flamingos were trying to escape, squawking, and then it was pretty funny. Like, they weren't harmful or anything, but they're almost intimidating. They're pretty tall and it's a pretty funny time. So the, I know our daughter was like, whoa, those are crazy. If I hadn't already done the flamingo thing, feeding them and everything at a different zoo, I'd sign my family up for this. It'd be a lot. It was a lot of fun. It was definitely a cool experience. Another thing that would be a lot of fun, but I've also done this at an aquarium, is feeding rays. They have a lot of different rays there, lots of different stingrays and whatnot. So you go and you get to feed the rays, just like what it sounds like. You get to experience a little bit of time with them, learn a little bit more about them. They're such a fascinating creature, and even if you don't go feed the rays, definitely touch one of the rays. Their, their texture is just so weird, it's so strange. So these are just some of the extras that they offer. There's other times where they offer something maybe more seasonal or specific. There's like Mother's Day, Father's Day specific events where maybe they have a package like this where it includes two things and maybe it's cheaper or they offer something else or they offer a drink package along with this. But for the most part, only these are extras. Everything else is all included, except for maybe like hard alcohol and uh, wines or something like that. And you can even get like a drink package. Some of the deals even sometimes come with drink package. All the other stuff is all included. It's pretty great to have breakfast, lunch, you got your wetsuit, you got your snorkel. One piece of warning, if you're gonna go into Discovery Cove, you can't wear your own sunscreen because it's gonna be bad for the animals. It is a lot weaker than what you might be used to. So we found that lathering twice with sunscreen was still probably not enough. We'd recommend even more. You're gonna hear people telling you that you need to lather up with sunscreen there. You're gonna hear people telling you, don't forget the sunscreen, don't forget the sunscreen. Seriously, don't forget the sunscreen. And probably do, like I said, three coats at least. We did two each day and we still had some burning. I think, that's, I think that's it. I'd much rather be in Discovery Cove right now because it is freezing here. It is 
is so cold here. Please take me to Discovery Cove. Check out this little sizzle reel I made about Discovery Cove. It was my attempt at kind of like a music video. It's a lot of fun and it definitely shows you all the different animals there and the adventures we had. Please subscribe if you like what we're doing. We really want to bring you more videos in season two. Thanks. Bye.